Okay, so this is going to be a sort of safety information video and it's one that some people might not even be aware of. I thought I might as well make it because where I'm getting more into a lot of the radiation stuff I could easily see people having these and not knowing the dangers of them and not doing anything about them. So this is what's called a British Mar uh, Mark I marching compass or a essentially magnetic compass. I'll let you look at the little bake-like case there if the camera will actually focus on it. Now. The danger that a lot of you will know, probably know with a lot of this sort of gear is that in World War II, um, most nations, if they wanted something to be easily visible in the dark, uh, painted them with radium paint, where you have a little tiny bit of radium uh, mixed into the paint with other things. Now, what happened to the radium girls who painted a lot of these things uh, is pretty well known. They died horribly of all sorts of like cancers and things from lipping the tips of the brush to um, basically get a good point on the brush. Um, the sort of horrible thing of the radium girls was inside the company, the people who ground the actual raw radium down to mix in with the paint, you know, like the R&D departments, they all had like lead shielding and all that, respirators and everything else. The poor girls painting the um, dials, you know, weren't told any of the safety precautions. And then, you know, tried to insult to injury when they started dying from this stuff. The company said it was actually because, you know, they were sluts basically and they had syphilis. Um, I think they did win the court case though at least, but anyway, Long story short is that lots of old military gear from World War II sort of period contains radium paint, aircraft dials, compasses, helmet markers, anything that might is you know meant to essentially glow in the dark. Now these compasses, I found very few people other than one or two videos on YouTube where people ever seem to mention that they've got radium paint on, and there's actually a significant amount. So I'm going to show you all the places I've found on these that have radium paint. Bear in mind there could be more contamination on them. And I'll demonstrate it with two different Geiger counters. The mini monitor, uh, which is a scientific one, so it only goes up to um, 2,000 counts per second. Um, so that's really just for measuring decays. And also, I'll use the Therapy because this one basically has an equivalent dose on it. This one only reads beta and gamma. This one um, reads alpha, beta, and gamma. Um, so the reading will be much higher on this one. Um, but both will basically indicate that there's radiation there. So if I show you first with these dials where the paint is, so the bit you don't have to worry about is in the compass itself, because if you see what looks like the brown stuff inside the compass, that's the old radium paint that's sort of gone that colour. Now because that's generally always sealed behind glass in sort of, I guess, an airtight thing for the compass, because there's normally a liquid in there as well, um, you don't have to worry about that because it's not coming out. Now. The danger is that big brown strip there, uh, that's a massive chunk of radium paint. There's generally a little bit at the other end of that bit there, and there's a couple of bits outside the case. That stripe going down there is radium, generally not as much paint used on that bit, and that bit there is radium as well. So just to prove that, that I'm not lying, um, what we'll do is turn this Geiger counter on. And you can already hear that it's much higher activity than normal, because I've literally got you know one of these compasses here. So. That's a bit of radium there, there's the bit there, there's the bit on that face, and there's the bit there. They've not actually put all that much on this bit on this one, um, but yeah, that's the scary bit. Um, now, to talk about the dangers of, I'll turn it off before the clicking goes over me and annoys me. So to talk about the big dangers of radium, the although it gives off a bit of gamma energy, the main scary thing with radium is it's a very strong alpha emitter and it gives off a fair bit of beta as well through decay. Um, so what happens is if you inhale this or ingest it, it gets in your body and it just destroys you internally basically. Um, radium is not as dangerous as some of the radionuclides like you'd get from nuclear bombs or um, you know fission in power plants, um, but it's a lot more scary than uranium and thorium. Radium is the earth's like most radioactive naturally occurring thing. But in nature, you get very little radium. I think when originally they were making radium stuff, you'd have to smash up something like over one ton of pitch blend or raw uranium to essentially get one gram, one curie's worth of radium. That gives you some idea, you know, of just how little this occurs in nature. Um, but yeah, radium does exist. So what I'm going to show you how to do, and this is a very straightforward operation, but is just to get this as safe as possible, because the biggest danger with this is it will be given off a bit of radon gas as well, so store it in a well-ventilated room, but is if you're getting this compass out and using it, or handling it, the danger of the paint chipping off here. 
because as this paint gets old it flakes quite easily and that is the bit where there's quite a significant chunk of it and it can very easily come off. So I'm just going to zoom the camera in a bit. So what I've got here is my bag full of old radium bits anyway and you might notice in here that I've got a few of these mirrors already because every time I buy one of these compasses I literally take off the mirrors from them and I put them in here so um, they're out the way. This does mean that you won't have a mirror in there. Um, I found this is much safer than trying to scrape the radium paint off. The reason being, if you scrape the radium paint off of the mirror, quite often it leaves a lot of dust behind and that dust can then be inhaled. So this way is a lot safer. So what I'm going to do now is just zoom in so you can see this more in a proper DIY sort of perspective. And then I'll show you just the very simple thing you can do to lower your risks if you actually wanted to use this. Because these still work as compasses. They're very good if you want a decent compass. The issue is they're covered in radium. Uh, so, yeah, let me demonstrate this now. Okay, so all we're going to do is get our screwdriver. And in the four corners of this mirror, there are four flathead screws. So, sometimes due to age, they can be a bit finicky. But what we're just literally going to do is take the screws out. They're not very big screws. You could always, I guess, get a separate mirror. What you could do, I don't know, if, if you can get something that doesn't damage the glass or metal these mirrors are made out of, you might be able to um, actually dip these in some sort of paint stripper to get all of the radium, like, 100% off, and then put them back in if you wanted to do it that way. Um, but yeah, as they stand, the radium is really hot. So what I've done is, once I take the mirror out, I will show you the pure gamma and beta readings these give off. So, there we go, there's that. Now, if you were doing it more efficiently than me, you would be doing it outside somewhere. This carpet is very easy to clean, at least. This is why, if I end up doing them inside, I do them here. And, um, yeah, make sure you wash your hands very, very thoroughly afterwards, even if you wear gloves, because I found the problem is with a lot of radium paint stuff, it can get under your fingernails, even if they're quite short. When it's under your fingernails, if you ate something, you know, and you don't have a good way of checking for contamination on your fingernails of like an alpha probe, a pancake probe style thing like my mini monitor has, um, that's the issue. So there we go, that's that taken out. You can put the screws back in if you want to or you can leave them out. Personally, I just put them in a box of old screws. Um, yeah, so there's that mirror. So, let's now get this one. I'll put the beeper on the therapy so you can hear it beeping. So, this is with the beta shield closed. We're getting, at that range, 63, 61 uh, micro sieverts of gamma. Um, basically, divide that by 10, and you get your sort of number in millirontgen, if you prefer millirontgen, roughly. So, you're looking at about 6 millirontgen per hour of gamma, um, or, you know, 60 micro sieverts odd. Now, if I take this back cover off the mini monitor, and expose the tube to beta energy as well, Look at how much higher that goes. We're over, we're over one millisievert now. And bear in mind, this is simply just the um, beta and gamma. There's even more alpha coming off of that as well, but this can't read alpha. Now, if I go to the accumulative dose mode, watch the numbers going up on there. Every single time that goes up by one, which is basically every one or two seconds, that is an entire day's worth, pretty much, of background radiation. One to two um, full microsieverts would be basically a full day's worth of background radiation. So that gives you an idea just how hot that radium is and why you do not want it to get inside you. Because once it's inside you and it's not coming out, you're being exposed to that energy day in, day out. And radium's half-life is 1,600 years. So it's going to be radioactive a lot longer than you're going to be alive if it gets inside you, let's put it that way. So there you go. That gives you an idea of just how, you know, scarily hot this stuff can be. Um, so what you do now, uh, as a safety precaution, is get a sealable bag like one of these, and then simply get the mirror, and pop it into, you know, the bag with all your other bits, if you've got other radium bits in there, and then at least this way, what you've done is you've basically, you know, you've got the mirror sealed somewhere. If you've got it in a sealed bag at least, you're not going to have the risk of any radium um, or radon gas escaping as far as I'm aware. As said, the worst bits of radium are certainly the bits on that mirror. Um, there is still more radium on these, but not so much that, you know, I'd worry about it. As said, there is still, like, a bit there. Now, I don't really know what the best way of cleaning that off would be if you did decide you really wanted to not risk that bit at all and clean it off. Because these are made from Bakelite, I don't know if you, if you use paint strip on them, if it would melt them. So, yeah, don't uh, investigate that properly before deciding to do something. 
But yeah, if, if you want to know now how hot my bag is full of these old mirrors and bits from the plane dials that have crumbled off, um, I'll flip that around so it's the right way around for you to see on the camera. And it will depend on where the hot spot is of it, but again, several millisieverts I'd imagine if it's, you know, getting an even reading. And even with the gamma, um, let's close the casing so it only reads gamma, um, you're still going to get a very high number on that. What are we at the moment? 274. Again, it's going to depend on if you've got it close to the sweet spot or not. Let's just put on the back of those mirrors there, when they're all there. 47. 146, 133. So yeah, that gives you just some idea. Apologies if the light's reflecting off the screen. But yeah, so these old marching compasses are cool, but please, 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 if you get one, make sure you um, take precautions about the radium paint, because sadly it seems a lot of people don't have any clue that this stuff had radium on. And you get that inside you. You can hear what the Geiger counter's doing, you know, in terms of uh, activity. So, as long as you deal with them safely, no problem. But don't risk, you know, getting one and then just letting a kid play with it or something. Because, you know, they get that inside them. The likelihood they'll get a cancer, you know, or die early is pretty much guaranteed 100%. So, there you go.